I'm Kelly Hill, Executive Editor of RCR Wireless News. I'm here at Mobile World Congress Barcelona 2023 with Michael Lauder, who is CEO of Nextivity. We're here on the show floor and uh, we're here to talk a little bit about what's going on with Nextivity. Now you folks recently acquired HPUE technology to add to your portfolio. How does that differentiate your technology position uh, both in the US, in the rest of the world and, and in Europe? So uh, we're very excited by the acquisition of um, uh, Pursued Wireless to uh, get the HPUE technology into our portfolio. Uh, you know, in Nextivity, uh, we have one golden rule, and that is that um, whenever we make a new product, there must be something that's really unique about Nextivity in that product. And uh, if you look at all the products that we have, we're about keeping people connected. And uh, you know, nothing keeps you as connected as an HPUE device when you're at the edge of the network. And uh, you know, that's really why we are, we're so excited to bring the HPUE technology into our portfolio. Uh, the HPUE technology has really been uh, you know, founded and started in band 14 for FirstNet. Um, and that's, you know, obviously we have a great relationship with FirstNet as well, right? We have a number of other products that fit uh, the FirstNet network. And so there was great synergy between the HPUE technology and uh, what we've done on, on the FirstNet side. Uh, but you know, Nextivity is a global company. We have more than 200 mobile network operators around the world that use our products. And uh, uh, there are a number of other bands, bands uh, you know, 20, 28, and 3, that have been approved for HPUE technology to be deployed there. And um, you know, this is what we see as one of the great opportunities, is to be able to bring this technology to the 200 mobile network operators that we have around the world and to consumers you know, to enable them to really truly be uh, covered right at the edge of the network. Okay, so an opportunity in expanding ecosystem, it sounds Absolutely. like. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And I think, you know, right now, HPU technology is very much focused on, on public safety. Absolutely. And, you know, we see public safety LTE as, uh, as a growing market globally. Um, and so that would be a big push for us. But in addition to that, you know, we would love to see the HPU technology, you know, become a consumer product as well. And we think that there's a you know gigantic opportunity there, you know, especially in uh, you know some of the countries where we are strong, like Australia, for example. Um, you know, we would love to see uh, end users being able to you know take advantage of HPUE technology there. Yeah, that was definitely an environment that would uh, that would benefit from it's them a very probably. Big country. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so, well, let's talk a little bit about 5G. Um, always very top of mind for the industry these days, and definitely here at the show yep. as well. Um, what is Nextivity talking about around 5G? Um, we hear that you folks have a new product exactly, with some new yeah. technology that's yep. about to launch. What can you tell us about yeah, it? Yeah, we actually we announced it uh, yesterday. Um, it's called our Go G51. Mm -hmm. It is a product that's in the family of our of our Go products. Um, you know, these are small repeaters that are, uh, you know, embody all of the technology that Nextivity has. Uh, they are aware of the network. Uh, they're fully self-configuring, and we've been able to take all of that uh, you know 10 plus years of uh, knowledge that we have and our unconditional network safe guarantees and bring that into the 5G uh, frequency bands as well so the new product supports uh, 100 megahertz fully self configuring uh, 5G NR operation in band uh, N78 uh, together with LTE um, uh, signal boosting as well so we're really excited by it. You know, the, the Go product has been a, a really great product for us and we've, um, you know, solved many, many, many problems for end consumers, you know, across the world with the Go series of products. And, you know, with 5G and the deployments in the three and a half gigahertz bands, we are seeing more and more people understanding that the signal is just not reaching in building, you know, in the way that, you know, a low band signal would do it. And uh, this gives them a really easy and, fundamentally network safe way to bring coverage into the building and bring the promise of 5G into the building as well. Okay. All right, so let's talk a little bit more, maybe piggybacking on that. Um, you folks also have recently launched a private LTE solution, yep. uh, Harmony, I believe it's called. That's correct, yeah. And uh, so let's maybe, can you give us sort of a breakdown of what that offers and maybe yeah. how it's differentiated? There are a lot of folks who are talking about private yes. networks. What makes next what Nextivity yeah. is doing different? So, um, you know, it is true. Right? There's a lot of talk around private networks and what it can do for industry. And um, you know, I think one of the things that uh, we've seen is that uh, it's when you think about private networking, you can't think of it in its uh, in isolation. You really have to see the wireless strategy that's needed by an enterprise in a sort of in its totality. And uh, that includes Wi-Fi, which 
you know, we're not a Wi-Fi company, but every single IT company or IT group within an enterprise knows how to do Wi-Fi. What is more difficult to do is, uh, you know, private networking and public networking. And with our Quattro 4000 C device that we launched at the end of last year, um, it has the ability to bring public and private networking together. And that's really what makes Nextivity unique, is the ability to, you know, go into an enterprise and really see the totality of what the wireless needs are. And you know, once you've installed the Quattro 4000 C in a building, you have the means now available to distribute both public and private networking within that building. And that's really the unique proposition that we bring. So it's not just about private networking, it's about that combo between public and private and about Nextivity being able to offer a complete solution to our customers uh, today, right? We bring the power of the macro network into the building and you know, enhance that with the power of the private network um, you know, that we offer as a, as a complete service to our customers. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to break those things down for us here at the show and uh, hope that it's a good rest of the show for I you. I appreciate your time. Thank great. you. Thank you.